Okay, let's face it. For most of us, when we go on YouTube and we type in the name of some synthesizer, for example Roland Jupiter 8 or Yamaha MOX, we don't do so to listen to some nice music, but we do so because somewhere in the back of our mind we are playing with the idea of purchasing one. And before we're going to do so, we want to make sure this is a good decision. So we want to look up some demos to listen to some demonstration synthesizer to make sure that, you know, if the sound, how does it sound like, is it sound in a way inspiring me, does it appeal to me, is it something in a way interesting, uh, to make sure that if you would decide to buy it, that it would not be, uh, that you would be uh, disappointed afterwards to say you want to return it or get rid of it. So, um, actually, most of us go like this uh, on YouTube. I uh, also see this, for example, in the comments of my YouTube videos here, that, for example, some people say, okay, next purchase is going to be that one or that one. Um, and it was the same also for me, for example, um, I can remember, this, for example, the, um, the K2600 uh, cool toy. Uh, I was very much inspired by some very old, nice uh, demonstration of uh, Pink Freud uh, video, uh, shining on you, crazy diamonds, something like this. Uh, very old vi video, but you know, really, uh, really very nice with this guitar and so on and so on. Um, so that actually, yeah, I don't know exactly how everything went uh, because before I also had, um, actually that was the first synthesizer I bought, uh, the Kurzweil K2600. Um, and um, similar also with the other ones, in a way there was always some, some kind of, uh, something pulled me towards the synthesizer, but you also always want to make sure that, you know, okay, Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I'm not making the right decision, or you know, let's listen to some demos to make sure how does it sound like, what are the capabilities, what are the capabilities, and so on and so on. Um, uh, for the so what I'm now going to decide to do is uh, to start also with some demos of uh, some of the equipment I'm using uh, to give you also some idea more uh, live in a way that you can listen uh, how I'm composing also and so on and also to give you some insight on my techniques how I'm composing and so on and so on by the way uh, the sounds on the background that's my cat uh, he will be here and he always wants to make himself known uh, so that's normal um, <clears throat> so back to the synthesizers um, the demo I'm going to start with uh, today is um, the uh, Kurzweil PC3X um, for that one, actually, um, I was quite disappointed on the uh, offer of available uh, demos on YouTube. Most of them are uh, quite old, are low quality or bad quality, uh, yeah, not inspiring. There are some good ones, um, that's for sure, uh, but they mostly are about uh, its orchestral sounds, which are really you know magnificent that's for sure so its orchestral sounds are fantastic uh, the uh, k2600 already has very nice uh, orchestral sounds especially if you have the contemporary uh, board uh, installed um, but this one even goes a step further um, another thing is also of course you know you can also make use more of, of the aftertouch here um, because it has a weighted keyboard, uh, the K2600 doesn't have um, the, uh, the, the not S, the S's have the uh, 8080 keys and they have aftertouch, the other ones don't have aftertouch and that really plays an important role if you want to do some, uh, uh, some composing on uh, orchestral sounds. So what I'm going to do is to start for the next two months, I'm going to do some demos of uh, the equipment I'm using. Uh, and also give you some insights on some of the techniques I uh, use to come up with these specific broad, uh, expansive, uh, very layered sounds. Uh, you know, my, my YouTube channel, actually the name Emotion Fields, actually it stands for you have layers of emotions which are invoked, evoked by layers of sounds. So in this way, uh, I really like, and I think most of you also like it, that uh, you have this very expansive, very stretched, very um, dense and uh, resonating, vibrating, uh, thick, uh, resonant, um, full and uh, 
reverberating uh, sounds which really want you to relax and to really ease into them and there are specific techniques which you can do how to really bring this fullness uh, in sounds and many things they happen by accident um, for example i can remember that um, the k2600 there was a specific sound which uh, way of generating of changing the sound it was actually really by accident that i came to it and said, ah, i'm not going to go into this today uh, it's actually a kind of secret which i want to devote um, one of the future videos to it um, <clears throat> but yeah it was really um, yeah quite fascinating and uh, as such you can really be yeah, astonished uh, what other kind of secrets or discoveries or nice um, yeah, uh, experiences which await you uh, with other of the synthesizers. So um, for the PC3X I want to uh, focus a bit on the PC3X today um, and again so coming back to it so um, it was actually um, I didn't have a lot of uh, inspiration didn't get a lot of inspiration out of the existing um, uh, demos which are out there on uh, YouTube because um, yeah like I said they are either quite old or they are um, bad they are not inspiring um, yeah it's just or not to my taste so as such um, okay um, as such yeah not really exactly uh, because the um, K2600 what I really liked on that one is um, it has for example fantastic amazing warm chorusing uh, deep uh, emotional uh, CP80 uh, sounds so the, you know the Yamaha CP80 the Yamaha CP, CP70 uh, this unique electrical um, amplified uh, piano sounds uh, but often these uh, CP80 is they sound a bit harsh a bit you know too metallic and um, the uh, samples in the uh, CP in the uh, code trial uh, K2600 they are really quite you know mellow and soft and warm and you know really touching really emotional so uh, as such um, you know I was quite interested okay you know let's have a look at the PC3X I know I just um, K2600 was in a way its predecessor. The, uh, the, the, the 2600 series are from the 90s, the PC3 are from the 2000s, so it's in a way a modernized version of the uh, K2600. Uh, it's really upped the memory banks. Um, the 2600 has about a few hundreds of patches and uh, about 150 or about 150 setups and a few hundreds of patches. This one has a few thousands of patches, so it's you know tenfold. Um, so it takes you days or even weeks to go through each of the patches, and you want to really devote your attention to evil patches to you know to discover it, and then from there go into uh, changing and programming the sound and so on and so on. Um, but you know, again, I didn't have any uh, inspiration, didn't have any uh, examples of uh, demos on YouTube, so I had to really uh, was limited to forums to uh, submissions on forums so what, what people wrote uh, on the internet about it uh, and they were positive they were really you know convincing that people really were yeah, impressed uh, um, and yeah so that was actually the story and uh, I acquired it a few months ago um, initially I was looking for let's say similar sounds of uh, the K2600 some bad sounds some other uh, surreal sounds um, actually they are not really in here like I said the sounds are more modern more let's say yeah, updated um, although it also has a very nice classical keys and again like indeed I mentioned all the way earlier the orchestral sounds which are really amazing so really I said oh my god so that's something which I will definitely do into the next video in a few months or so a few weeks um, to really devote my time to that uh, because it really the expressiveness is really out of this world which you can get out of it. Um, for today I want to focus on a few of the string sounds, a few of the electric like, e-pianos and a bit of the CP80 also. Uh, I'm going to play with headphones because you know I want to really listen or really find you uh, to discover the fine delicacies of uh, the sound and in a way soft but really you know focused. 
uh, as such, um, I will now switch off the, the, the microphone from the, the uh, camera and then we will go to the microphone from the, uh, uh, the uh, sound card. Okay, that's it.